Have you ever had the feeling that you knew what someone was going to say just before he said it? Or have you ever walked into a strange room and had the sensation that you'd been there before? Well, if you have, you've taken a small step beyond. Now watch a giant step. Household ammonia. Warning. Dangerous if inhaled. Tincture of iodine. Warning. Not to be used internally. Lighter fluid. Warning. Not to be used near a flame or fire. Most dangerous things are labeled warning. But. This wasn't. And it should have been. Mrs. Dolliver, we've never met, but I feel as if I knew you. Ted has told me so much about you. I've heard about you too, Mr. Rankin. Won't you sit down? Go here. You'll be more comfortable over here. Well, how are things in San Jose? Ted back at the office after our big trip? <laughs> Not that we did much hunting. I suppose he told you about the rotten weather. He hasn't come home. But he left the cabin the same time we did. Well, Ted hasn't shown up yet. I know. Have you uh, met Mrs. Dolliver? We talked on the phone. Hello. Well, he probably stopped off somewhere along the way. Why would he do that? Well, any number of reasons. Car trouble, anything. You're keeping something from me. Now, wait just a minute, Mrs. Dolliver. What happened? Did Ted get drunk and meet some girl? Well, you should know Ted better than that. There is something wrong, isn't there? No. Really. I don't think so. Anyway, why don't you go home and Pete and I will drive up to the cabin. I'm not going home. I'm going to the police. Don't do that. Why not? Well, just as necessary. I think it is. You ready? It's ridiculous, Alec. Who knows where he went? Could have gone a thousand places. There's nothing wrong. Are you sure? No. Mrs. Jones, will you send for my car, please? You're not goofy enough to think that Chinese gadget has anything to do with this. I you threw it in the fire. I got a silly little stick of wood. Just in. drive. I wish to God I'd never found it. Come on. It's just a toy. Do you remember the look on his face? I'll admit. Ted did some crazy things. He's all right. It was all right when we left him. He's okay. Is that why you're driving so fast? Unfounded rain, none of this would have happened. The rain seems to be letting up a little. Looks like the rain's let up a little. We heard you the first time. Don't be such an optimist. It'll rain 40 days and 40 nights. Step right up and get your tickets to the Ark. Only two to a customer. <laughs> That's a good one. I always was his best audience. You know, my folks have owned this cabin for 30 years. It's the first time, so help me, it's ever rained for five days in a row. 
When that I was in the little tiny boy, the hay, ho, the wind and the rain, a foolish thing was but a toy. For the rain, it raineth every day. You always could sling that poetry around. I don't know how you remember it. What else do you expect from an English teacher? Quiet. There's no drive. While you're out there, you better have a uh, shot of bourbon for that cold. <laughs> no, we're running short on bourbon. You fellas need it more than I do. <laughs> Storm! <whistles> Come on, boy. Come on, Storm. Come on, this way. Come on. Atta boy. Hey, dessert, Storm. Don't wash up anything in there. I'll get it in the morning. Hold into it, Ted. You've done enough, KP. You gold brick. I forgot to tell you, that doesn't work. What else have you got in the way of fun? There's a lot of toys and stuff, games and under that window seat. How about a fast game of checkers? At this point, I'd settle for a yo-yo. Ouija board, Monopoly. What's this gadget? It's a magic game of some kind. When my dad was in Hong Kong on business years ago, a Chinese merchant gave it to him. How's it work? Who knows? I never took the time. Time is what we've got the most of, buddy. All in Chinese. Oh, wait a minute. There's a translation on the side. Let's give it a try, huh? Oh, that's kid stuff. It's out of the Book of Changes, one of the writings of Confucius. Hey. Hey. This isn't kid stuff. What is it? First, you pick out the wands and lay them in a hexagon. Uh, put the box on the floor, will you, Ted? Put the seventh wand. In the center. Go ahead. What's a hexagon? A six-sided figure. One person picks up the wand in the center, sits cross-legged facing east. Uh, which way's east? Due east. Holding the wand in a certain way. The others in the room also sit cross-legged facing the person with the wand, the hexagon between them. Then everyone concentrates on making the mind a blank. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. Each wand represents a special rite or spell. The person holding the wand goes into a trance and the spell starts working. Why, this is some game. Who's going to be the guinea pig? Not me, pal. Okay, I'll be the sucker. Well, then let's switch around. Oh. <clears throat> like this? Yeah. We'll sit cross legged. Oh, come on, pal. Come on. on. What's your symbol? No, here it is. I will undergo change and become that which I am not, as the caterpillar becomes the moth, or the mouse, the leopard. Uh, listen to this. It is written that danger lies ahead for he who chooses this, unless he is wise in the secrets of Confucius. How about that? They look like a bunch of snake charmers. I should have brought my cobra. Hold the wand with the tips of your fingers. Right hand on the top. Okay, now. Blank out your minds. No one must move or speak. I never felt so silly in Come my on. life.
Storm? Cat scare you, huh? Wake up. Ted. Well, you stopped the act. It was just getting interesting. It wasn't an act. What are you talking about? Did I put on a good show? Yeah, you're making like a wildcat. You even fooled old Storm. in the jungle. A leopard in the jungle? <laughs> Don't laugh. It wasn't a dream, either. I was in the jungle, alone. I wasn't afraid. Everything was afraid of me. I felt like a king. I was a king. Oh, boy! I walked through the wet, wild woods, waving my wild tail, walking by my wild lawn. For I am the cat who walks by himself. And no one is a friend to me. Who wrote that? Kipling. For I am the cat who walks by himself. How'd the rest of it go? And no one is a friend to me. That's how it was. Gonna barrel of laughs. I'm gonna bid you all good evening. Storm, say good night to the king of the jungle. Ted. Aren't you going to bed? I'm not sleepy. I guess it's just as in our day as great white hunters, huh? How can you hunt without a dog? What are we supposed to do, hit him in the head and make him come with us? I wonder what's wrong with him. He must be sick. He's not sick. It's Ted. Huh? Look at him. Sleeping like a baby. Or a cat. Oh, come on. Knock it off character puts on an act and you fall for it, a smart guy like you? I saw something last night you didn't see. Huh. Did we catch a mouse? Ted! 
You all right? What are you doing? Looks like he's in his second childhood. Let's hope that's it. Kill it! Kill it! It's only a cub. Better get back to the cabin. Now, here we go. For old Anxiety. Tomorrow, back to home and kitties and the little women who understand us so well. God bless them. Monday, it's back to the importing office for me. Back to sparing the rod, spoiling the brats for Alec. Back to the building. Not again. I won't try it again. I don't think it's such a wise idea. I have to try it again. I have to try it again. Try a different one this time, huh? Everything was afraid of me. Drinking. How long has this car been here? It, it belongs to a friend of mine. I don't know. I just got here myself. Well, if you gentlemen are planning on spending the evening, you'd be better off if you stayed inside, huh? Why? There's an animal on a prowl, and it's got everybody scared to death. Half a dozen hunting parties out now looking for it. What kind of animal? Well, folks who don't know say it was a leopard. Of course, what they saw was a cougar. A leopard in these parts. I expect the next thing they start seeing will be uh, giraffes and elephants. Hey, Mr. Rankin. Yeah. Got it! Can't be. Can't 
be a leopard. It was. A leopard was killed. But where did it come from? Leopards just don't exist in the Western Hemisphere. And no zoo or circus owner ever reported one missing. Also, no trace of Ted Dolliver was ever found. To explain his disappearance, there were various theories. One, that he got lost in the forest and died of exposure in some lonely place. Two, the leopard did kill Ted in the remote forest. And there's a third, which is, of course, speculation. I will undergo change and become that which I am not. As the caterpillar becomes the moth or the mouse, the leopard. <laughs>